Praise the Lord. Good morning. It's magnanimous Monday. We give God glory and honor for another day. Thank him that we're still among the land of the living. Um, our topic today, I was reading through the scriptures and um, praying about some things as I was, you know, discussing some things this morning. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 13, which says if we confess our sins, God will have mercy upon us. But when we hide them, we cannot prosper. And I'm sharing this because God has um, been revealing that we in the body of Christ have sin <clears throat> that we've gotten comfortable with um, or we try to justify it and we don't have accountability for the things that we're doing. Um, it's like, you know, for example, um, you know, lying isn't right. So, you know, say, hey, you know, I know lying isn't right, but I got a problem with this. God help me. But when we justify it and say, well, everybody does it. That's what God is talking about. We cannot prosper when we try to cover or conceal our sins. Now, what you do, the sins you commit is between you and God, of course. No one else can judge you. No one else can point a finger at you. But the issue is in the body of Christ that we're trying to hide too much. We're trying to um, conceal these things from God. And we're, we're, we're almost operating in self-deception because we think we're okay. Well, God knows my heart. God will forgive me. But the scripture tells us, shall we live, continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. <clears throat> because, yes, God's grace is sufficient. And, yes, God is a gracious God. But we cannot take that grace for granted because Jesus paid a high price for our grace. He suffered, bled, bled and died on the cross for that grace that we're under. So every time we willfully uh, commit sin or ign ignore or do not acknowledge our sin, it's like we're nailing him to, a cro to the cross again. And we don't want that in the body of Christ. We need to be accountable to ourselves and to God for the things that we do in this body. Um, so today our challenge is God help me overcome these things in my life that I know are not pleasing to you. Even the things I don't know, God reveal it to me. Help me to line my life up with your word that I might please you and bring glory and honor to your name. The other thing is, um, you know, we have a tendency to put our sin in categories. Well, you know, at least I'm not doing this. Well, I'm not as bad as so-and-so. But when we compare ourselves to God, we're all filthy rags. So we can't compare ourselves to one another. We can't put sin in categories because sin is sin. And there is no category. So the liar, the murderer, the thief, the adulterer, it's all sin. It is all filthiness. So we need to take it before God. <clears throat> And get real with God. God, help me with my struggle. Lord, help me with these sins that, you know, are hidden because we don't want to remain in sin and willfully disobey God because then we're um, bordering on rebellion. And the Bible says rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And we know we don't want to, you know, we, we just don't want to go there. So today our challenge is God, help me to be accountable for the things that I'm doing. Help me to acknowledge what I'm doing that is against your will and your word for my life. God, if I'm struggling with some things, help me overcome those struggles that I might be better day by day. Help me to crucify my flesh. Let me be better today than I was yesterday. And let me be better tomorrow than I am today. So through his power, through the power of the cross and his redemptive blood, we can overcome sin. <clears throat> And we can live a victorious life in him, free, whole, restored and set free. So today, in the name of Jesus, God, we ask that you forgive us of any sins we have committed by thought, word or deed, known and unknown in the name of Jesus. God, we ask that you will forgive us for not being accountable, for making excuses for the things that we do that are not pleasing in your sight and help us with your holy conviction. Bring conviction to our lives in the name of Jesus and help us to live right, to walk up right before you that we might prosper in the name of Jesus. Because when we have hidden sin, we cannot prosper. When we don't confess our sin and we wallow in it, Eventually, we'll be turned over to a reprobate mind, and we don't want that either. So today, our challenge is <clears throat> check your life. Check those things, those sins. Are you repenting on a regular basis, or are you justifying your wrongdoing by saying everybody else is doing it, or, yeah, I know, I'm going to get it together one day. Well, guess what? One day is right now. Tomorrow's not promised. The next minute is not promised. So we need to always have that in the forefront of our minds and be thinking about what we're doing and our actions because there are consequences for every action that we uh, do. 
Everything we say and do in this body, there are consequences, good or bad. We always want to try to please God. We will never be perfect down here on earth, but we're striving towards perfection. We're striving towards being closer to Christ and being more like him and shedding our old self day to day. So and be encouraged today um, in the name of Jesus. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. Check yourself before you wreck yourself.